Well, here we are back at it again. Been a long hiatus in between videos and haven't done a whole lot here, but I'm just going to take off the steering box. I just kind of want to get a picture of everything, and this is before. You can see the crud build up on there that I've got to get off. And uh, I'm going to pull that off, and then I'm going to take off the. Uh, Oh, I forget what they call that. But anyway, this, and then the tie rod. We gotta get that thing all straightened out. It's all bent up, to went crazy. But we're gonna clean everything up in a little one step at a time. I was debating on how to go about proceeding with this frame. Um, I was gonna disassemble, take all everything off pretty much and then go get the whole thing sandblasted. That would probably be the best. It's just a matter of doing it. You know, I don't really want to take everything apart because I'm so slow that I would never remember how to put it back together. That's where I'm at right now. I'm getting to that point where you know, where's this go, where's that go? But I have started disassembling the front. You can see I have the uh, shocks off. And I've got the brake lines disconnected. One of those is a fuel line. But, um, took the uh, front motor mount out. You can see there's a nice little indentation down in there where that engine is actually, the mount is wore out and the engine came down and rode on top of that frame for quite a while. So we're going to pound that back up. You can see it dips a little bit. Pound it back up then we're going to fill it full of weld and grind it down. And uh, anyway, then we're going to get to each one of the hubs. I have new shackles for it so those will be coming off. But uh, before we get to the shackles will be the last thing, you know. And um, but I just want to get everything else taken apart and do it a little bit at a time and then put it back together, that type of thing. What I think I'm going to do is I've got a little sandblaster. I think I'm going to take and from about this front motor mount here, or this is actually the rear motor mount, I guess, and um, from here forward is the sandblast myself. Once I get the steering box off and get this all, I'll clean that all up. And the steering box itself, I'm going to go through it. But um, we'll just sandblast the whole front of it, and then I'll just paint it. And I'll just do a little bit at a time. And then come back into this area and disassemble. You see, I've got to take all the brake lines off <coughs> when you sandblast that because. I am afraid that sandblast, the material that I use, is pretty abrasive. And I don't know if it'll eat through that copper line or not, but I don't want it to do that. So that's why I want to take it off and uh, go from there. But once I get this steering, um, I can't think today. I can't think of anything. But anyway, i got to get all that off. So I get at how cruddy it is down in there. This is clean. <laughs> I've actually power washed this at one time before I pulled the engine out. You can look at that cross member. I mean, that's the gunk I'm dealing with. It's 76 years worth of uh, old oil and dirt and all kinds of crap. But anyway, that's where we're at. And um, I'll give you an update when I get done this afternoon and see where we're at. And I'll show you what, what I've got so far. These are the front um, shocks. I have new rubber lines to replace. I do have to get a bushing kit to replace for the bushings that go in here. I have to straighten this up and make it round again. Um, there's a brake line that goes from side to side right here that i got to replace. This is the new motor mount. This was the, the plate that I took off of 
the truck itself, and it's in really good shape. A little clean up, but uh, anyway, that sits down in there like that. And then the two bolts hold it in place. So, kind of excited there. And these are my rear emergency brake cables. These are my mounts. These are the things I've had a quandary over. Um, done a lot of looking on eBay. Nobody has these. These are peculiar to this truck and a few other models in 36. I'm not sure if 35 had them too, but they're they're supposed to be rubber underneath each of this this little thing that goes inside of this housing. And of course the rubber deteriorated and you can see the how loose they are. To replace these two, that one and this one is 130 bucks. And it's like that's a lot of money. And it's like there's got to be a better way. So a guy um, through the VCCA, I put the call out to them to see you know what I could do, and one guy gave me a nice web page where I can get them vulcanized, but it's still it's 130 bucks. Um, the filling station has them. It's again 130 bucks, and uh, but a guy emailed me and he said that. There was an old guy that built a 36 um, pickup up, and what he did, and he, he emailed me, and I emailed him and told him my dilemma, and he emailed me back, and he said what he did is he took this outer shell and heated it up, and I think you only have to heat up like one side really, and bent, see how this thing curves, curls around here, and bent that open was able to take this piece out and then he found some really heavy rubber that he could put down in there and I suppose it would be on the top and the bottom of that piece but anyway got that fit in there and on both sides and then he crimped this back together and that's what I was thinking about doing and uh, he said it worked for him and uh, he's been driving it for years so I think that's what I'm going to do. I got to get around to doing that because I went to the engine shop yesterday, and the engine is bored. The pistons—I uh, don't know if they're, he said they were fitted yet or not—but he had the pistons there. He had the rings, and the crank was out at a shop, a different shop, being polished. The journals on it. And so he was waiting to get that back to see how much uh, further he could go. But I gave him the rods, um, so I got new rods, babbitted rods, I've got pistons, I've got rings, and he's going to throw it all back together for me, and it's just going to be a bare block when I get it back. Um, you'll have the cam gear installed and everything set up properly, be timed, everything will be ready to go. You'll have the cam in place, so it's, then it's just a matter of me reassembling, you know. I've got the head back here, I've got the pan, um, these are the old rods and pistons which I will no longer need, I'll try to do something with that, there's the oil pump, but um, anyway we're going to get that back on, um, you see up there sitting beside that snowmobile, those are the push rods that go in there, and so I've got that and then I've got an egg crate around here with all the the um, oh, what do you call it? The lifters. And um, so anyway, that's all going to be put into place, and we're going to button that all up before I do any more on this frame. And we're going to get that engine sealed and um, make sure everything's working properly, paint it, and then just set it aside. And that'll set aside until. I can get this frame done at least back uh, to the the second um, mount there, the transmission mount. And I, I don't know what happened there. That's the first button. Anyway, anyway, that's all we have for now. I'm gonna make this a real drawn out long drawn out video. I'm just gonna start working on this, and it kind of gives you an update where we're at, and uh, we will get back with you soon.